with my 1 million subscriber special of the Q&A. Oh my gosh, that was a mouthful. And <laughs> a lot of you have been waiting for this, so finally, here it is. And before we get started, I just want to say thank you so, so much for helping us get to 1 million subscribers. And what I mean by us, I mean the GG Squad. Everyone that's been supporting me from the start, you know? Because we're like a family. I love all of my GG Squad members. And um, if you want to be a part of the GG Squad, then turn on post notifications so you won't miss any videos from me. Um, but like, I remember just like yesterday, not actually, we hit half a million subscribers and I was saying, oh my gosh, just watch when we get to like a million, that's gonna be insane. And now we're already at a million, which is crazy, mind blown. So thank you so much and make sure you stay tuned for my one million subscriber giveaway because that's coming up pretty soon. Alright, so I've compiled a list of questions on my computer and it's going to be really fun because the questions that I decided to answer will get a shout out because obviously the screenshot is going to be on the screen and I get this question a lot which is can you shout me out in your next video and to be honest I really wanted to do like a weekly shout out thing on my videos but the reason why I never do it is because even if I shout out like a couple of people, some of you guys will hate me for that because I'm not shouting out you in my videos, if that makes sense. And I don't want you to feel like left out because I love each and every one of you, but it gets kind of complicated since there's like a million of you guys. But all of you are my world and I love you so much. And it's kind of hard to explain, especially whenever I come across some of you guys on Roblox and a lot of you are asking me to like give you a shout out and I have to explain it and I feel really bad because I do want to give shout outs, but like I said, it gets complicated and overwhelming. I hope you understand. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the questions. Okay, let's do this. First question is from Pinkle. I'm not gonna try with the last name. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Um, I'm not very good at pronouncing names, so just keep that in mind. She asks, hey Jessalyn, these are my questions. What is your height? Do you like to study? And what is your best and worst subject? Okay, so my height, I wouldn't say that I'm short or tall. I'm kind of like average, like in the middle. <laughs> and um, according to Abercrombie's size charts, I'm the ideal height for my age, and my size is 11 slash 12, so, I guess I'm around like 4'10 or even 4'8, but I'm pretty close to my mom's height and she's 5'3, so maybe I'm even 5 feet, I don't know. But the eggs must be working, yay! <laughs> um, do you like to study? Okay, I don't think anyone likes to study, but to be honest, it's a priority if you want to succeed in school and have good grades. So for me, it's important and it is a priority. Okay, what is your best and worst subject? I don't have one, but I do have a favorite and least favorite. So my favorite is math, um, which is kind of weird because I know a lot of people hate math. And my least favorite subject is either science or history. I mean, yeah, it's science more. I, I don't like science. I don't know. Like, the science that I learn at school is kind of boring to me. So that's why. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, next question is... My question for Q&A is, what is your favorite book to read and why? My favorite book is The Land of Stories because it's so good. There's so many plot twists and different characters, but it still makes sense in the end. And I can't believe that Chris Colfer, the author, he left me on a freaking cliffhanger on the last book. And I'm waiting for book, I think it's like eight or nine, I think. Yeah, there's seven books, so I'm waiting for book number eight. I'm not so sure if he's going to make book number eight, but I definitely recommend it. So check it out. <laughs> okay, and Kitty TV asked, is the gaming channel coming soon? So I was thinking maybe I shouldn't really make a separate channel just for gaming because maybe I can do like one day would be a gaming type of video on this channel and then one day would be like a drawing video because I know a lot of you guys love my drawing videos and then the other days would be like lifestyle, you know? So just let me know in the comments if you would like to see gaming videos on this channel instead or would you like me to like make another channel just for gaming so <laughs> okay next question who is your favorite color i'm guessing she's saying what is your favorite color where are you from who is your favorite singer do you have a hobby in your free time and who is your favorite youtuber my favorite colors i have more than one is pink blush um gold rose gold and right now i love royal blue and red because i look good in like both colors and if you've been following me on my Instagram I've been wearing a lot of royal blue so if you want to follow me on my Instagram it's at underscore Jessalyn Grace underscore check it out okay um where are you from I'm from the USA 
Who is your favorite singer? Jungkook. If you don't know who he is, just keep on watching this video. I'll explain it later. Do you have any hobby in your free time? Yes, I do. Drawing, which you guys have seen on my channel already. I also love to sing and dance, which is surprising because I haven't done any like covers of me dancing or singing. And the reason why I don't do covers on my channel, well, I haven't done any covers, is because when I was like around four or fourth or fifth grade, Wait, wait, that didn't make any sense. I meant to say in, not around. Mom, you're supposed to catch that. That's why you're behind the camera. <laughs> Someone told me that I'm not good at singing. Like, yeah, and I just let that affect me, which you shouldn't do. If you get, like, negative comments or, you know, someone's just trying to bash you, don't listen to them because, um, yeah, just don't listen to them. I don't know why I listened to that one person who told me that I couldn't sing. It was stupid. But hopefully I'll come out with a cover pretty soon this year because I know a lot of you guys want to hear me sing for the first time. I'm also going to be doing a Blackpink do 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 dance cover with my friends. It's going to be so exciting. We're just waiting for the clothes to come. So again, stay tuned. It's going to be awesome. Okay. And who's your favorite YouTuber? My favorite YouTuber is Lauren DIY because she's so relatable, Moose is adorable, and I love all of her DIY videos, including her weekly vlogs. I definitely recommend her channel. She's amazing. I really wanted to meet her one day. But I also like watching animation videos, like Jane Animation, she's my favorite, The Odd Ones Out, and a ton of other people. Oh, and I almost forgot. I love Lucas the Spider. He's so adorable, and the animation is pretty good. If you don't know who Lucas the Spider is, have you been living underneath a rock or something? Because he's been trending for like the longest time. <laughs> okay, next question is from Miss Pug Gaming. What is your favorite slime to make? Clear slime. Um, it was actually one of the first slime videos I did on my channel, which was like a clear slime tutorial. And I love clear slime because you can put anything inside the clear slime and you'll still see it because obviously it's clear. Mermina Twins Moy says, where are most of your clothes from? Either from Abercrombie, Justice Tilly's, Forever 21, or Me and You. Those are like my five favorite stores right now, including Me and You. I've recently been shopping on there. And if you didn't notice, this bracelet, this sweater, and the shorts that I'm wearing are from Me and You. So definitely check out their website. I'll link you to it in the description down below. Next question. Um, here she said, Hi, I actually want to know how did your YouTube journey start? This is going to be a long story, but I'm going to try to make it as brief as possible. It all started when Toys R Us announced that they were going to have a President of Play campaign, and my mom and I decided to film a short video and submit it. I don't know how, but I got chosen out of like thousands and thousands of people who submitted videos to be their top three. And after the campaign ended and I didn't win, my mom thought that it'd be time for me to start a YouTube channel. Because ever since I was like three or four, which is a pretty young age, I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel because I love watching tour reviews like um, Evan Tube HD, Disney Toy Collector Card, I don't know, one of those YouTube channels. And I was also inspired by my mom because at the time she did YouTube as well for like the crafting community. So I would mimic their intro and their outro and film like videos on my iPad, my mom's phone. And yeah, I've always had like a thing when I was younger and I've always, always wanted to do YouTube. Now I have a YouTube channel which is pretty exciting and I was so excited when my mom told me that I can do YouTube. So first I did like tour reviews. Um, you can go back to like my first video. All I did was like tour reviews. But I realized I wasn't getting popular because obviously there was like already a lot of people doing tour reviews. So I did something else that I really liked which was lifestyle, you know, fashion, vlogs, all that stuff. And now we're here. <laughs> then Tara, hashtag Tara asked, do you play sports? Yes, I do. I am in cheer. I did basketball last year. Um, I didn't do it this year, but I love basketball too, even though I'm not that good at the sport. Um, but yeah, those are two, my two favorites, basketball and cheer. Okay, next video. What is your favorite part of being a YouTuber? Obviously, it's you guys interacting with all of you and filming videos for all of you. It's so much fun and there's a lot of benefits to being a YouTuber, but um, you guys make it really fun. And that's my favorite part of being a YouTuber. Okay, can you please do a song cover? I would love to hear you sing. Okay, I mentioned this already. The reason why I don't do song covers is because um, I stopped singing for a while. I went through like this phase, so... Hopefully, again, I will do one this year. Do you have a crush? <gasps> 
Yes, I do. And you'll find out who he is. Just keep on watching. <laughs> Macaroon Buns asks, do you have a boyfriend? No, I do not. I only like one person. Hopefully, he'll be my future husband, even though he's like 11 to 12 years older than me. But age doesn't matter, right? <laughs> but the reason yeah, it why... does. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but he's, I'm already going to say this, he's drunk cook though, who wouldn't want him to be like your future husband, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, um, the reason why I don't have a boyfriend is because at this age, I still think that it's irrelevant. Um, I mentioned this in my last Q&A, but it's kind of weird because if you did go on dates, your parents would obviously have to chaperone you and your mom would be like, oh sweetie, let me take a picture of you guys real quick. And you're just like, mom, stop it. I'm trying to talk to my boyfriend, okay? <laughs> it would be just weird, you know? And the last option would be, like, at school, you know? If you don't want your parents to be watching you. And it'd be weird because all of your other classmates would be watching you, you know, hold hands and stuff. And I just don't want to be claimed by someone. I don't want to say, oh, yeah, I'm taken because he's my boyfriend or something. Yeah, no. I don't want to be <laughs> claimed. <laughs> I just want to live my life and not have to worry about a boyfriend. So... That's why I don't have a boyfriend, and I don't want a boyfriend yet until I'm older, but there is one exception. Like I said, Jungkook. Okay, what is your zodiac sign? BTW, I love you, Jessalyn. Oh, I love you too. Um, my zodiac sign is Gemini. I'm a Gemini. Next question is from May, and she says, Hey, Jessa, love your videos. Here are some questions. What is the name you choose for yourself, even if you had a choice? Would you have cut the ones your parents gave you? What do you plan to do as a study or job? I'm guessing she's asking me, like, what would I like to study in the future and what I want my future job to be. So, I would keep the name that I already have because it's such a beautiful name and I like how it's not a common name as well. It also has a story behind it. If you want to know the story, then make sure you watch my 10 facts about me. It's a pretty old video and it's very cringy to watch because my voice in that video was like, Hey everyone, it's Jessalyn. I'm about to share with you like 10 facts about me. I'll link you to it in the description down below. Um, yeah. <laughs> Leave a comment in that video and say who's here from Jessalyn's update Q&A from 2019. Anywho, um, I would like to study uh, broadcast journalism when I'm in college, even though like I'm still in sixth grade and long ways until I get to college. But I want to study broadcast journalism because I want to be a news anchor on either CNN or Good Morning America because I want to be on your television screen. <laughs> Okay, now on to all the K-pop related comments, well, questions, because if you didn't know, I love K-pop, I'm obsessed with K-pop, you can even ask my, my friends, my family members, I listen to K-pop 24-7. Um, so, this question asks, do you know K-pop? Well, obviously I do. And I hope you'll look for them, like EXO, BTS, BLACKPINK, TWICE, and more. I know all the groups you just mentioned right now, so, yeah. <laughs> Okay, and then Dancer Girl asks, what is your favorite member of BTS? And kisses to Jesslyn. Thank you. My favorite member of BTS is Jungkook. Like I said, I want him to be my future husband, and he's actually my crush, if you didn't already know. Um, he's so talented, and he has such a beautiful angel voice, and oh my gosh, you guys. I really want to meet him someday, and I really want to go to their world tour, because if you didn't know, they just announced a world tour, and either like tomorrow or in two days, the tickets are going to go on sale, but I'm scared, because tickets, when they go on sale for BTS concerts, it literally sold out after like a minute or two, which is insane, so hopefully, hopefully I'll get to go. Okay, Creative Yasmin, sorry if I pronounced it wrong, um, said, When Blackpink World Tour is in your country, would you like to buy the tickets? Do you like Malaysia? Um, I've always wanted to visit Malaysia, actually. I heard it's beautiful over there. And um, Blackpink is actually having a world tour. They're having a concert in L.A., but I was too late to get the tickets. I know they're not sold out yet, but the seats, they're not very good seats. I wanted to get the GA, like, general admission floor because that's like the front spot where you can see them and they don't look like tiny ants uh, and it's too late now I really want to go but the tickets though they cost a lot and plus the seats aren't that good anymore so okay and then Sana is my queen asked 
Here are my questions. What is your favorite girl group? What is your second favorite boy group and who's your bias? And who's your bias in twice? So my favorite girl group is Blackpink. Um, my second favorite boy group is Icon. And my bias for Icon is B.I. My bias in twice is really hard to choose because now I like Sana and Sui at the same time. I probably pronounced her name wrong. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> but I think I'll go with Sana. Sorry. <laughs> All right, um, and then, are you a lazy person? What is your favorite song from BTS? <sighs> okay, so even though I seem very organized on this channel, I mean, I am organized. Sometimes I'll have those days when I'm really lazy. Like, I'll be in bed till like noon just on my phone, <laughs> um, which is a very bad habit and you shouldn't feel lazy. But I'm kind of a lazy person. I mean, my parents sometimes get mad at me whenever I'm still in bed at like 12 or 1. So, I guess I'm kind of a lazy person. <laughs> I don't know. But my favorite song from BTS is Spring Day because it has a very deep meaning to it. But the tune, like the sound of the song is really good. And it's very catchy as well. Okay, next question. Um, hi, um, uh, here are questions for the Q&A. Which K-pop group is your favorite? It's hard to choose. It's either BTS, Blackpink, Icon, Twice, um, I also like A Pink right now, Red Velvet, or even Seventeen. I have a lot of favorites, I can't just choose one. <laughs> and what has been your jam, like my favorite song right now lately? Dala Dala by Itzy, I think it's called Itzy, I don't know, they haven't announced like how to pronounce the name, but Dala Dala is pretty good, and I already know the chorus to it, which is pretty cool. Okay, that was all the K-pop questions, and sorry if most of you guys don't understand what I'm talking about. I don't know. I just love K-pop, and I can talk about K-pop all day, and some of you are like, I don't even like K-pop, Justin. Why are you even talking about K-pop? I don't even understand what you're saying. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> we get the point. Yeah, you should definitely listen to K-pop, even if you don't understand it. Just turn on sub like, ty um captions because there is English captions mostly on captions, uh, not captions. Captions. <laughs> captions. Uh now on to the final question that I've been like asked ever since I got to channel, which is what is your nationality? What is your ethnicity? What's your background? What's your roots? Are you embarrassed about your roots? Is that why you never told us? Are you Filipino? Are you Hmong? Are you Indonesian? I think you guys get the picture. Um I get this question like I always get asked this question all the time, and I am, make sure you stay tuned for, for this uh, next video, because I'm going to do this really fun, like, guessing game. I'm going to be speaking in eight different languages, eight to nine different languages. Wait, why did I do this? And <laughs> <laughs> you can't count your fingers, just <laughs> So, I was born and raised here in America, um, including my parents, but a lot of you guys still want to know what my background is, like where were your grandparents born or something. I'm going to answer that in my next video because I'm going to be doing this really fun guessing game where I'm going to be speaking in eight to nine different languages, um, including Tagalog, uh, Korean, Japanese, all of that, and you guys are going to have to guess what my ethnicity is, so it's going to be pretty fun. <laughs> If you want to watch that video, then make sure you stay tuned by turning post notifications so you won't miss any videos from me and to be part of the hashtag GG Squad because I love all my GG Squad members. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I also have Instagram, TikTok. Both social medias have the same username, which is at underscore Jessalyn Grace underscore. I'll see you guys later. Bye!